Good morning, yellow cat. It is a Sunday afternoon, and I have uh, a special delivery from Indiana. My four little cousins from Indiana have brought me something special. Boys, you know what these are? Yeah. No? Okay, well, they are Kinsey bean meters for my John Deere 7000 six row planter. We have Charlie, Nathan, Jack, and Sam. I have a question for you. Is a John Deere 730 better than a Farmall 300? No. No. Hey, that's not what you're supposed to say. They're just playing. They know that a John Deere 730 diesel can out pull a 300 Farmall any day of the week and twice on Sunday. So updated plan for 730 number two. I'm gonna take the wide front end and the second hydraulic outlet and the wheel weights and the elephant ears off the three point and put them on my other 730 diesel and then I'm gonna take the narrow front off of that tractor and put it on this one and resell it. Not that there's anything like majorly wrong with it. It runs fine, it starts fine, but I just don't think that I need to have a second tractor around. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of money on it to make it like presentable and a little bit nicer, I guess. I changed the engine oil and I'm gonna change the transmission fluid at some point in time, not sure when. But yeah, that is the, uh, as of October 4th plan for this tractor. But you know, sometimes things change. We're gonna sell some corn today. Get my fix today, let's go do it. Oh boy. We need to do a little bit of cold-ish start action. It's one of my favorite things to do. So down here we've got I don't know how many acres is in this field. We have a four acre field to get done and then an eight, and then there's 22 acres on the other side of the little river here. Wow, my windows are very, very dirty. We got by rain yesterday and the ground is still, it's, it's like it's damp, but it's not wet. So it's good enough for just showing a little bit of corn today. And dad wanted me to uh, give this tarp here another like half turn or something like that. This corn here is considerably drier than what we have been in because most of the cobs are coming out in halves or nearly whole like this instead of breaking up in the combine. That, I believe, is a sign of corn that's just a little bit drier. This seems to be a pretty typical year. It's about filled out to the end. 2020 has been a tremendous year for corn crop and yield. Definitely a little damp, leaving a pretty good uh, track here. Doesn't help that that combine's like really heavy and has a lot of weight on it and it has corn in it too. This right here is the wonders of section control for John Deere equipment. It planted like 12 plants right there and one plant right there. It shut all the other rows off because this part had already been planted for the end rows. In 1980 or whatever, there just wouldn't, wouldn't have been anything here or we would, ha would have had to shut half the planter off because they didn't have that technology back then. It's extremely dusty and I regret taking that shot. It's not worth it for a for just a YouTube video, I guess. Cornfields right here we did on shares, which means that we get half of the crop and the owners get half of the crop. I figured out how to make my window, the wiper clean a little bit. Now it's just a little bit better. It's not great because this part right here still has a bunch of gunk on it. So does the front glass, but hey, now I can get good shots of unloading the combine. So I've gotten to move this tractor like three times since I've been here. I've been here for like an hour. It's kind of boring, but you know, that's the life of a grain cart, man. So you see these uh, green patches here. That's where the corn didn't come in very well. And there's quite a few of them out here. So the yield on this field is probably not gonna be that great. Dad's got about, about got a hopper on, so I think this will finally be my chance to uh, do some unload on the go and <laughs> before a truck shows up. So hopefully it'll just be like a couple minutes.
Alright, he's loaded and he should be rolling the tarp pretty quick. And Dad's got a full hopper on him. As soon as Dad gets this load of corn on me, I, myself, and Dad are gonna go over to the other part of this farm that's across the river, and I actually need to leave. Gosh, I love moving equipment down a four-lane highway for 200 yards. This back right here is a fly, and it's been flying around the cab the whole time I've been in here. And I finally killed it. Neighbors are shelling corn today too. They own the place that's not on the other side of these trees, but on the other side of the trees right over there. Well, this is the end of the video. So if you like what you see, be sure you subscribe. A thousand's getting closer. But that's my goal was to get a thousand by the end of 2020. And right now we're at 673. So that should be within reach. Yeah, thank you to everybody who's watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you got a question, put it down in the comments and I will answer to the best of my ability or at least say something that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. So I will catch you all on the next one.